probably no way I can timestamp this. Maybe I can if I go to the description. Maybe I'll have to see how I can say this. I'll record the timestamps. Taurus, what can Taurus expect in the month of January? 2024, Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus, okay, the hangman, you're going to be feeling stuck um, in January or you're going to be releasing something, okay, um, I feel like some of you are re releasing something that has been long overdue, all right, the tower, yeah, you definitely are releasing something, um, you could be releasing some anger, so be careful with that, um, you may be encouraged to release anger, release, release grudges, um, I can't remember her name, she's from The Craft, the movie, but the tower it's Mars, the planet of action, desire, and aggression. Uh, I'm hearing that you're needing to take the initiative. So there's going to be a call for you to really um, step out of your comfort zone and really break barriers, okay, for some of you, especially if you're trying to start something new. Okay, seven of cups here. Just like in the Aries reading. Ugh, yeah, so that's a really stuck, stagnant energy. I was hearing sluggish, so it's going to really take your initiative, your drive, um, all of your power to help you overcome whatever this stagnant energy is here, okay? I was hearing suddenly and shocked. So, yeah, something could have happened um, suddenly, you know, abruptly, and... In return it kind of left you feeling like I don't know like you didn't know what to feel like there was mixed emotions here like okay the moon yeah it definitely was something suddenly I'm about to shuffle these cards again because this card was also in the Aries reading so with the moon card um, this is a phase that you're gonna be going through in the month of, of January um, a phase also something happening suddenly um, there's also something you could be keeping a secret holding on to a secret or you you maybe you realize somebody's holding on to a secret okay the tower can represent like blowing your top or like or discovering something something's revealed you know suddenly um, I was hearing losing my mind. Be careful with that. Okay, Ace of Swords. So truth coming out. Some of you are um, encouraged to free yourself from any like negative energies, anger. Um, this could be cycles. Okay, I was hearing um, bad romance. So it could be bad romances with connections with someone or a bad romance with an addiction, whatever, you name it. Okay. This is like giving me bad romance energy. So with the Ace of Swords, you're freeing yourself from that. You're setting yourself free, okay? For some of you, it's like you're no longer the hangman, okay? You're off the hook. So, and this is happening suddenly. Seven of Cups. Okay, the Two of Cups. <laughs> two of Cups, so... Let's see what else do we got with that two of cups you know it's love it's a relationship okay you're maybe you're um you're much clear about where you stand in your relationship you maybe could be hearing the truth from your partner possibly the person of interest okay there's some type of truth here between you guys or whoever you're uh, connecting with this could be an interpersonal relationship yeah an ace of cups so for some of you, you're wanting your space, like you're wanting to just focus on yourself or there's somebody that you're dealing with or connected with that just wants to be by themselves. They want to make room for themselves. They want to fill their own cup for you. This, it could be for you, you know, if it's not the other person, but there's like a selfish energy. Like someone is just wanting to stick to themselves. They don't want to connect at this time. They just want space. What is this um, Ace of Cups here? And this can also be a new love, new opportunity. This is feeling emotional as well. Five, six, seven. Yeah. There's somebody that's feeling emotional or they're really um, holding on to something. Okay. They could be holding on to the past, holding on to a certain idea, you know. 
Um, it could be you as well. Somebody's not letting go of the past or letting go of something that really pained them and hurt them. So they're kind of coming off as like selfish, not wanting to like connect or deal. They're just kind of fixated on whatever the hell this is. Okay. Um, Taurus. All right, narcissist. So you're dealing with a narcissist or someone could see you as a narcissist. Um, I was saying, I love my body. So there's somebody who maybe loves their body or they're really into their body or something and they're just really into themselves, like, to the point where they don't give a shit about what other people think. I mean, this could be you, this could be somebody else. Okay. All right, separation. So you could be going through a separation. I kind of mentioned that. Somebody's, you know, kind of separated from you. Um, okay, maybe because they're focused on something else. So there's, like, there's something going on. Okay, so emotional separation. Spiritually, you may feel separated from this person. Or you're physically separated from this person. Like, you're broken up with them. Okay. There could be some jealousy going on as well. Okay, so that's it. All right, so let's 